In WordPress 5.8, they released a really cool new feature called the Query Loop Block. If you haven't checked this out, it's definitely worth looking at. So the query loop block basically is going to write a little PHP loop for you without you having to write any code, which is always nice. Now this is similar to the latest post block, but it's much more powerful. It can do a lot more. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay. So we have a demo WordPress site here with just some information I've thrown in for us to take a look at. On the home page, we have the blog article. So our posts are here. Okay. I do want to point out that this very top one is a sticky post and I'll explain why that's important later. Then we have two pages set up. One is about one of our authors, Robbie, and the other is about bugs, our other author. So we've got two authors for these blog posts. So what we want to do is on these pages, we also want to show the blogs that they have in particular written. So let's do that with the query loop block. In the back end of WordPress here, I will just point out one more time that there are posts. They're written by Bugs Bunny or Robbie Adair, you'll see in here, as well as there is a sticky post here written by Robbie Adair as well. Then there are two pages. So we've got our two pages about Bugs and about Robbie. We're going to start with the about Robbie page. When we open up the page, what I want to do is I want to go down to the bottom of this content and I want to add a new block. So I'm going to add that I want a new block. I'm going to start typing query for query loop. There's my block. You'll see there are some patterns down below, but I'm just going to place that block. Here's the block. Now we can select here. Do we want it to be in a carousel view? They're going to be singular articles. Do we want to have it in a grid where they're columned? Um, or we could even start blank. If you know the design you want, you could then just lay it out the way you want it. We're going to start with the carousel one just so we can kind of dive in there. So I'm going to choose this one. You'll see that what I have right now is a title, an image, the, the uh, excerpt or the first paragraph actually, and a read more link and the date. And there's a little separator line here. First of all, I have more blogs than this. So let's go ahead here. You'll see that you can change the number of items you're showing and you can offset them and you can set a max number if you want. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to up this up to six for right now. So you can actually see that it's pulling all of those blogs that we have the post, including the sticky post right there. Right? So what we're going to do is go back up here and we're going to select our query loop block again. We are going to now on this, I would like this to stand out so that it looks a little different from my page. And you'll see over here when I select the block on my settings, I can change the color. So let's change the background color to be white. It kind of stands out a little better on this page. So I know there's something different. Also, you'll see down below, this is one of the things that's kind of cool is that you can actually pick post or pages for a type that you're going to pull into this. So that already kind of sets it above the latest post. Um, also down here, if we look, we can set by category, author, keyword. In our instance, we're wanting to show all of the, the uh, blogs by Robbie. So we're going to select Robbie as an, our author. So automatically you're going to see now it's only showing the blog post that Robbie wrote, including Robbie wrote the sticky post, but we can say we don't want that sticky post. We can exclude it. You can also say only. So if you wanted to put the sticky post in places, you could. So we will exclude it here. And you'll see now what I have is just the blog post by Robbie on this page. Let's go ahead and update that and look at it from the front end. And then we're going to come back and look at the bugs one. And we're going to do one more thing on there. So here's the post and it's just pulling the ones by Robbie. So now let's go work on the bugs page real quickly. We have updated that one. So now we're going to edit about bugs and on here, we're going to add the query loop block again. So we're going to add the query loop. 
Only this time, we're going to select that we want to start blank. When you start blank, you'll see you get some basic information here. So we want the title and date, let's say. So you can see I just have the title and date of these uh, blog posts that he did. Now I would need to come over here. I'd need to say I only want this to be Bugs Bunny and you'll see all of a sudden we have less because Bugs only has two that he's written in here. The last thing that I want to show you about this is when you're doing them by your by yourself from scratch like this, you can still add in blocks. So you can say, well, it looked better with an image. Guess what? If we look at our outline, it'll give you a better idea. You can see that the query loop block is, in how, is housing these other two. So we can actually go and add another block in here if we like to. So maybe we want the um, featured post image to go in there. And you just drag and drop it where you want. Do I want it to be above the title? Yes, let's put it above the title. And you'll see because this is a loop, it did it to all of them in there. And I could move these around if I wanted. If I wanted that below the title, you can just simply move it in here and it'll save it. Let's save that the way it is. Let's go back and let's refresh our home page there, or Bugs page, excuse me. And you'll see this one looks like our one we did from blank. All right, so that's a quick look at the query loop block. It's a really cool new addition to WordPress. And so I hope you try it out and see what all you can do with it. I think you'll be quite pleased as, at the versatility that it offers. So this has been another OS Tips from OS Training. I'm Robbie Adair. We would love it if you would subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you next week.